Thank you, orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, we welcome you to the formal commencement proceedings of the class of 2018. Please stand as we honor our nation and those who serve it. I would like to welcome our class of 2018 president, Rhea Burris, to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing after the pledge as Azaria Curtis performs the national anthem. Rhea? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streamed Thank you, Bria. Thank you, Azaria. Wonderful job. Please be seated. We are pleased and honored to have special guests joining us today. It's my pleasure to introduce our revered interim superintendent of Baltimore County Public Schools, Ms. Berlita White. Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Mary McComas. The Honorable Mr. Emery Young, member of the Baltimore County Public Schools Board of Education. Dr. Craig Cuellar, Community Superintendent, Zone 1. Mr. Michael Dickerson, Chief of Staff. Mr. Kevin Smith, Chief Administrative and Operations Officer. Dr. Russell Brown, Chief Accountability Officer. Mr. Shane Jensen, Specialist, Office of Music and Dance. We're also honored to be joined by the Honorable Mr. Julian Jones. Thank you all for joining us today. Parents, friends, and family, thank you for your efforts in supporting our students and arriving at this day. I would like to thank the class of 2018 advisor, Ms. Danielle Dohler. <laughs> Additional gratitude goes to Mrs. Kathleen Russell and her outstanding team of faculty members for their efforts in coordinating today's events and also for conducting 
our symphonic band and orchestra. Ms. Russell. Thank you too to our assistant principals, Mr. Elliot Flam, Ms. Laura Kohler, and Ms. Latanya Wallace. Finally, in recognition for their hard work and commitment to our students and their success, please join me in thanking the Owings Mills High School faculty. Teachers, will you please stand? At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our esteemed interim superintendent, Ms. Verlita White, who will share a few words with us. So good afternoon. Come on, if this isn't a good afternoon, I don't know what is. Good afternoon. That's what I'm talking about. Don't our graduates look amazing? Absolutely amazing. You look wonderful. It is an honor and pleasure to be with you this afternoon. Thank you for being here to celebrate with us this remarkable accomplishment. To all of our graduates, just know that you did not get here alone, that you've had the encouragement, the support, the love, sometimes the scolding of your loved ones, because the scolding comes with love as well. If your loved ones didn't love you, they wouldn't say anything to you, right? But in, with love comes a little direction and comes that guidance to keep you on the right path. So graduates, why don't you join me in standing and thanking your parents, your friends, and your loved ones for their encouragement and support over the years. Thank you. Over the years, you have also had the benefit of effective teaching and learning and instruction. Those long days, those early days, those long nights cannot go unnoticed or unrecognized. So again, I would ask the amazing faculty, the administration, and the teachers and staff members to please stand again to be recognized. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you so much. Graduates in Baltimore County Public Schools, we talk about graduating, making sure that you have not only a diploma, but also a resume to make sure that you are fully prepared for college and career readiness. In Baltimore County Public Schools, we are really proud of you and your accomplishments that you are doing just that. You are graduating not only with a diploma, but also with a resume. It's what we call a gift with purchase. Many times you go to a department store to the, the perfume or the cologne counter and you will find that you will receive a gift with your purchase. We've wanted to make sure that your graduates also have a gift with purchase. Some are graduating with college credits already under their belt. Some are graduating proficient in a second language. Some have skills, college and career readiness skills that will carry them a lifetime. So for instance, graduates, if you are graduating today and you already have college credits under your belt because of AP or dual enrollment courses, please stand so that we can celebrate you. <laughs> Thank you. Graduates, if you are, if you have taken a CTE pathway and you have specialized certification or an industry credential or you've taken that CTE pathway, please stand so that we can celebrate you. Thank you. Graduates, if you are proficient in a second language or have a biliteracy seal, please stand so that we may celebrate you. Thank you. If you participated in AVID and you have resume building skills, organizational skills, study skills that will carry you a lifetime, please stand so that we can celebrate you. Thank you. Again, this is what we mean by graduating not only with a diploma, but also with a resume to make sure that you are fully prepared. The list could go on and on and on. But what I've learned from this class, particularly the class of 2018, is that you want to not only compete with your peers around the globe for jobs, but you also want to contribute and give back. 
And that's why you inspire us so much with your contribution. This class of young people want to contribute not only to their neighborhoods, but to their county, to their country, and to the world. And for that, we celebrate you. That's how you deem success. You know, M Maya Angelou, who's a great author and poet, defines success as liking yourselves, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Class of 2018, I wish you all the success in the world. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. White. Class of 2018, typically when I sit down to write my remarks for graduation, I reflect on the year and consider current pop culture or events and relevant history that have shaped our experiences together. I search for some type of inspiration, some words of wisdom to impart as you begin the next chapter of your lives. As often occurs in my role as your principal, I find inspiration in you, our Owings Mills High School students. In this recent epidemic of school violence, there have been a few times this year when it's been difficult to come to work and maybe even hard for some of you to have come to school. I've seriously worried about keeping all of you safe and I've worried if I personally haven't gotten to know you, is there an adult in our school who has connected with you and cares about you on a personal level? Someone who understands all your stories and what you've been through and loves each of you as you are. Those times when it's tough and I worry, without fail, I can find inspiration in you. If it's just a smile in the hallway, an acceptance, where I'm going to basic training, I find inspiration in you. I can count on you, our OM students, sometimes as individuals, sometimes as a collective student body, I can count on you to inspire me. You are truly what makes OM home and the special place that it is. So for that, I thank you. On today's occasion, it is no different as my words to you today are inspired by a poem written by Mr. Ture Clark, class of 2018. Go ahead, clap for him. Woo! I'll share with you an analysis of Mr. Clark's poem and hope you can take some of his words and sentiments with you into the world. His poem is titled, Motivation. I wake up in the morning with a dollar on my mind, remembering times I ain't have much, now I'm focused on my grind. Started messing up in school, my mother told me I was out of line. A couple of friends stabbed me in the spine. Had to sit back, think, and expand my mind. Now I can finally say, it's my time. Never lost sight of the goals on my mind, that's why I'm classified as a different kind. All I had to do was give dedication and time. Anybody can do it. Just stay on your grind. Tere, can you please stand for us? Thank you for your words, Tere. I didn't ask you if I could reference your poem, but since it was recently published in a local literary magazine, I hoped you wouldn't mind. In the past, I've quoted Dr. Maya Angelou, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Gandhi, so you're in some good company there. Thank you, Teray. Teray's poem resonates with me and I hope with you because of the universal truths therein. Among the main messages here, life is hard. Some of you have faced significant challenges in getting where you are today. Lost loved ones, dangerous physical journeys to get here, language barriers, health issues, conflicts with peers or family members, challenges that have left you feeling helpless at times. Life will continue to issue its share of battles, no doubt. There will be times when money is tight and you don't see a way. You might struggle in school or with a job and you'll have friends that come and go. Life will not be an easy road. There's another notion in his poem, a simple sentiment. My mother told me I was out of line. That line carries a powerful truth in that you will need people to support you, especially when you're struggling. Don't be fooled though. Sometimes support isn't telling you how great you are, but calling you out. 
You will need people, parents, friends, coworkers, you can count on to tell you when you're messing up and hold you accountable in meeting your true potential. So thank you to Therese Baum and to all the parents. Thank you to all the parents siblings, aunts and uncles, grandparents, teachers, mentors and friends who've called us out and helped us up when we were down. Without you, our graduates wouldn't be where they are today and certainly couldn't get where they're going. So please stick with them. With the line, never lost sight of the goals on my mind, Teray reminds us to dream big. Don't be afraid of those dreams. Own them, talk about them, write them down and go after them. Reaching your dreams won't happen overnight or all at once. You've got to stick with it. You will have to dig deep, be persistent, and keep going. The last two lines of the poem, those are my personal favorites, make the educators, parents, and supporters among us beam with pride and fill our hearts with hope. These words represent the realization that as an individual, as a class, as a generation, you can do it. You have the power to change outcomes for yourself, for your families, and for our community. You have power to build bridges uniting the people of our nation, and you have the knowledge to solve our world's problems. When you realize your power, we have hope. Take to raise words with you into your bright futures full of hope. All you have to do is give it dedication and time. Anybody can do it. Just stay on your grind. Thank you again, Tere. Congratulations, class of 2018. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Thomas Blumenauer to the podium to introduce our salutatorian. Good afternoon and welcome class of 2018. When it comes to finding leaders in a classroom, sometimes it isn't the most vocal or even the most popular. Leaders do the right thing without being asked. They put forth consistent effort and have the mental toughness to push the limits of learning. Throughout life, we've all heard the adage, lead by example. This year's salutatorian does just that. From his 4.0 GPA to his leadership in extracurriculars like robotics and baseball, he has been a silent leader modeling behaviors and efforts that teachers and coaches dream of working with. His work during the genetic engineering unit in AP Biology truly was inspiring, pushing the envelope of learning as he de detailed how and why cancer happens inside the body, and even went on to identify several different methods to help treat and even cure the disease. After deep research, we even discovered that the work he was doing in class is currently in testing trials by people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars at this time. I look forward to seeing the bright future ahead as he heads to Drexel University next school year. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's salutatorian, Brandon Schuster. I remember when I walked into Owings Mills for the first time, I knew that it is where I belonged. Sure, everyone had their ups and downs, myself included. From bombing tests to asking for extensions on projects that you put off, from working up the courage to ask out that special someone only for them to say no, high school is definitely no smooth ride. But it was an important one because it's not the failures that define you, it's how you respond. Like I said before, Owings Mills is where I belonged and this is why. People at OM always pick each other up when they fall. Sure, all our sports teams were knocked down by Hereford one too many times, but that never stopped us from playing our best and it never should. Never let talent replace heart. The people at this school, and in this arena especially, embody that drive and that willingness to fight to the end. As I look out at the people seated in front of me, I see a lot of bright futures. Wherever life takes you, make sure you forge your own path. Never let anyone do it for you. Work hard and work smart, but always remember where you came from and what you overcame thus far. Always, always make sure that the life you are living is worthwhile and one you are proud to live. Leave the world in better shape than you found it and know at this point that you made it through the first chapter. So enjoy this time, enjoy your friends and family, enjoy the memories, and to the class of 2018, congratulations. Thank you.
Thank you, Brandon. Please welcome Mrs. Lisa Dryley to the podium to introduce our valedictorian. When I was asked to introduce our valedictorian to you today, I was honored, I cried a little, and I started to stress about what would I say. If you look online at valedictorian introductions, you see over and over that the speaker talks about GPAs, and they basically read a resume to the audience. Although our valedictorian's resume is very impressive, and she has all the qualities you would expect from a valedictorian, this is not what I want you to know about her. I want you to know what it is about her that makes her amazing and special. It is not just how incredibly intelligent she is, it's about who she is. For her, it's all about others, treating others with kindness and respect, looking to help wherever she can, always starting a conversation with a genuine, how are you? How was your day today? There is an aura of integrity and positivity all around her. As an educator, it is my job to inspire, but with this young lady, I humbly acknowledge that it is she who inspires me. She has drive like none other. She knows what she wants, and she has a plan to reach her goals and dreams. I am completely confident she will accomplish what she sets out to do because I've seen how she handles bumps in the road. She faces adversity head on, and she never gives up because she is resilient. Put this young lady in front of a mountain and she will leap, soar, and fly right over it. And she will do so with grace, determination, and gratitude for those who supported her along the way. She is truly a golden eagle who has grit. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the class of 2018 valedictorian, Ms. Morgan Kaler. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, beloved family members, and of course, the graduating class of 2018. Over the past several years, I have been honored to have had the opportunity to truly get to know the faculty and students that I am so very fortunate to call my peers and teachers, my friends and mentors, and above all, my inspiration. It is because of your dedication and commitment to the Owings Mills community that I stand here today. If there is anything that I have learned from my time at OM is that life is a war. My most recent struggle has been a war for my health, a war that dragged me to scores of doctor's appointments, shot me full of fear, bled me of my hope, and left me in tears. My war tore me away from my life as I knew it when I was left unable to live in my home for eight weeks and incapable of attending school. My war, however, did not leave me defeated. Instead, I lived in central Pennsylvania for two months with my grandfather, who is here today, and continued my studies independently through reading the textbooks and incessantly emailing the phenomenal teachers he had before us. Instead, I used that, the tears that I shed to strengthen my resolve that I would be here today with my OM family. After all, it was Charles Dickens who claimed that we need never be ashamed of our tears, for they are the rain upon the blinding dust of earth overlying our hard hearts. I tell you of my personal battles and triumphs not for your pity, nor for your congratulations, yet rather so you may realize that you are not alone in the wars that you are fighting. Diverse as their individual battles and skirmishes may be, the fact that we are all facing the trials and tribulations of life is what truly unites us as a people and as a class. It is inevitable that we will encounter numerous obstacles, but how we choose to handle those barriers is up to us. Perhaps this sentiment is best expressed by the renowned poet and civil rights activist Maya Angelou in the conclusion of her poem, A Brave and Startling Truth. It goes, we this people on this small and drifting planet whose hands can strike with such abandon that in a twinkling life is sapped from the living, yet those same hands can touch with such healing, irresistible tenderness that the haughty necks are happy to bow and the proud back is glad to bend. Out of such chaos, of such contradiction, we learn that we are never devils nor divines. When we come to it, we this people on this wayward floating body, created on this earth, of this earth, have the power to fashion for this earth, a climate where every man and every woman 
can live freely without sanctimonious piety, without crippling fear. When we come to it, we must confess that we are the possible, we are the miraculous, the true wonder of this world. That is when and only when we come to it. Given that we are all here today, moments from walking the stage proves that we are indeed beginning to come to it. We are capable of achieving anything we set our minds to. We are capable of overcoming any obstacles and barriers set before us. We are the winning the war that is commonly known as life, and we are winning it together. Congratulations, Owings Mills High, class of 2018. We are the miraculous. Thank you, Morgan. Graduates, please stand and turn to face your family and friends. <laughs> Ms. White and Mr. Young, Ms. White and Mr. Young, as principal of Owings Mills High School, I would like to present the 39th graduating class of Owings Mills High School, the class of 2018. Mr. Emery, will you award the diplomas? As a member of the Board of Education of Baltimore County, I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by Baltimore County Public Schools and the State of Maryland. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2018 to be graduates of Baltimore County Public Schools. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Emery. Graduates, you may now be seated. As we present the diplomas, parents and guests, please save your cheers and applause until the names of all of the graduates have been called so that we can hear the name of each and every graduate. At this time, may I have the first row of graduates come to the stage to begin the awarding of the diplomas. Yeah, you should, um, I think you should go ahead and, mm -hmm. okay, I'll, tell you what, I'll call, I'll call you, I'll call you. You ready? I'm, I'm going that one, cover three. Bria Burris. Jordan Davidson. Remy Wendell. Jennifer Wynn. Julia Coleman. Jake Lippman. Brandon Schuster. Rochelle Thompson. Morgan Taylor. Sharif Abu Bakr. Ishara Abukari. Cameron Adams. Tavion Adams. Daniel Adamelui. Adolapo Ademegiwa, Soyat Adewuyi, Christopher Akekwade, David Alahan, James Anderson, Justin Appler, Edward Arellan, 
Kelvin Argueta Vasquez. Parneet Asi. Antonio Bailey. Trevon Bailey. Yasmin Bannon. Sierra Banning Chamberlain. City Berry. Mary Barton. Anaya Baxter. Tariq Bennett. Ashlyn Beverly. Andrada Bikay. Andrew Bikay. Alexandria Bondaran. Ashley Boston. Jordan Monet Canty. Sanaya Campbell. Naja Butler. Brandy Burris. Rashida Burr. Taylor Burgess. Melissa Brown. DeAndre Brown. Kaylin Brazula Martinez. Kwame Bryce. Elijah Bowman. <laughs> Hannah Brommer. Tabong Bo. Dwayne Volver. Adonija Bourne. James Coleman. Ariel Collins. Melanie Cologne Serpus. Mario Contreras. Keon Cooper. Cindy Corias Ramos. Karan Crampton. Deja Crow. Azaria Curtis. Kanisha Davenport. Maurice Davenport. Andrew Cohen. Teray Clark. Cameron Cherry. Chidon Chin. Joshua Davis Carpenter. Nelsie Delgada Panetta. Jasmine Demery. Jorge Diaz. Justin Dillard. 
Nicholas Doerr. Tyreek Dorsey. Tamara Duarte Abibi Quantinho. Abdurrahman Alkomidi. Sarah Escobar Aguilar. Ronette Farfan. Saeed Humas Farouk. Jordan Howard. Treasure Hopkins. Obadiah Holloway. Amani Holloway. Michelle Hernandez Hernandez. Kevin Hernandez Gonzalez. Miles Harvin. Alicia Harvin. All right, you're up. John Gitao. Eric Gitao. Sincere Davis. <laughs> Tiffany Finney. Aaron Foster. Chase Francis. Darius Huff. <laughs> Mohammed Soli Ikramov. Amber Jackson. Jared Jackson. Alicia James. Maddie Jeffs. Davon Jennings. Demetrius Johnson. Karan Jordan. Zaria Jordan. Mohegal Jurakalova. Jordan Kearney. Broderick Kendrick. Wayne King the third. Kalud Lassery. Min Lee. Jamil Charles. Malik Chapman. Yeah, 
Daryl Cephas. Drema Carrington. Malik Egby. Taima Harrington. Nicholas Harley. Deja Hammett. Savannah Hackley. German Guzman Mo. Ashley Lee. Asia Lee. Jason Lee. Jared Lewis. Ahmad Madison. Jocelyn Magana Escobar. Breonna Martin. Guillermo Martinez. Shane McBean. Emmanuel Parrott. This is completely out of order. Yanika Parrott. Yogar Padilla Benaz. Mujib Oliwoi. Salamata Nagato. Dustin Nguyen. Keithia Nawazi. <laughs> Rafael Navarro. <laughs> Mohammed Nadim. <laughs> Janaya Nelson. <laughs> Matthew Paul. Natalie Perez. Bria Powell. Bryant Pratt. Damian Pulley. Nayati Rami. 
Abraham Ramirez. Francisco Ramos Portillo. Nakaya Randall. Brianna Reeves. Jonathan Reyes Salinas. Darian Rich. Carla Rivas. Daliana Rivera Malave. Malave. Yesenia Romero Del Cid. Antonio Ross. Julian Galloy. Mati Goye. Fatu Goye. Ian Gregory. Destiny Grant. Carlos Gomez Yanis. DeAndre Moore the second. Nancy Monroy. Keon Mitchell. Faith Millinder. Ashley Mateague. Jean Paul Mendizabal Flores. Jonathan Medrano Granados. Daryl Medlin. Tania Ruiz Mendez. Fahid Sadiq. Kyle Safel. Mahnoor Sajad. Trinai Sanders. LaShawn Womack. Andrea Woodard. Toluwanmi Yemi Ojo. Graciela Sarieva Cruz. Oh, down here. Dominic West. Essence Weathers. Joshua Mead. Cameron McMillan. Nicole McKinney. Tyson McDuffie. Troy McDuffie.
Philip Young, Julian Young, Deontay McCain. Carly McConnell, Rhea Patel, Yash Kumar Patel, <laughs> Deshay Watson. Morgan Washington. <laughs> Taylor Warner. <laughs> Norma Villanueva. Marcellus Vaughn. Camwell Vanderpoy. Cindy Urias. Yanika Parrott. <laughs> Victoria Ukraine. Zukra Tusambiva, <laughs> Fatina Turner, Dorian Tunstall, Evans Tukamnono, Michael Smooth Trussell. <laughs> Wilfred Tenay. Brianna Thomas. Fatumata Fero. Kurtan Sakar. Lamar Taylor. Deshaun Sylvester. Johan Souza Hayes. Christian Smith. <laughs> Alexandra Smith. Nyla Sherman. <laughs> Michaela West. Jalen Williams. Queen Williams. Lanesha Wilson. <laughs> Aruj Zia. Congratulations. At this time, we ask that all parents and friends of our graduates 
Please remain in your seats until all of the graduates have recessed out of the hall. This will allow us to have a dignified and orderly recessional, and it will allow everyone behind you to see. At this time, I would like to invite our class officers to lead the class in the traditional turning of the tassels and class rings. Greetings and salutations, Owings Mills High School class of 2018. Please stand. Our time as students of Owings Mills High School is coming to an end. We are about to soar from students into proud Golden Eagle alumni of Owings Mills. Let us never forget where we came from and always represent the best of OM. Take one last look around. This is the last moment that we are a class of 2018. As the hand of the clock runs out on our time at Owingsville High School, I ask of my fellow graduates to turn their class ring. Class ring. Class ring. To mark the completion of our journey as graduates of Owings Mills High School, please move your tassels from the right to the left. We are now officially the graduated class of 2018 and officially alumni of Owings Mills High School. One, two, three. Class dismissed!